What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of SDR TV. So for today's episode, it's going to be really, really sweet for you guys. It's going to be uh, sales development 101. So we're going to go ahead and go over the topic. What is sales development? Why is it important? Why is it here? And what is sales development really is? All right. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen real quick and get it started. So, all right. A few things. So sales development coming from my words the way i really what i really believe and truly see what it is is that sales development is strategic outbound prospecting on a mass scale strategic outbound prospecting on a mass scale and to truly understand what that means is you got to really understand why is it even here and why is it uh even important so sales development is a sales methodology that's highly, highly, highly practiced in the B2B and tech SaaS world, specifically tech and SaaS in the B2B world. And this is why this is such a great opportunity for those who are fresh out of college and wants to get into technology sales because as being in an SDR, BDR, ADR, whatever you want to call it, is typically portrayed as seen as an entry-level role because it's a grind, it's grit. You're out there prospecting all day, every day, and you're getting notes left and right. So let's uh, give, dive into a little bit more context too. So to truly understand, back in the days, if you're supposed to, back in the days, when you reach out to a potential prospect that would benefit from your goods and products or service or solution, it would typically take about, they say, they say about three touches on average from reach back out. For, and it doesn't have the, the email doesn't even have to be customized, right? Like think about it like 10 years ago, 12 years ago, 15 years ago. If you're a VP of sales or director or whatever, and you receive an email and it was generic as fuck, you, you look at it and be like, oh, what is this? You know, <laughs> I got to check this out because you barely get any emails. Nowadays, fast forwarding time in 2020, there's so much technology nowadays everyone's getting blasted with emails and everyone's asking for their time. Everyone's approaching them with solutions, trying to sell them shit. And this is exactly where the, you know, I really believe that true and successful SDR really got to take this in as a learning craft an art. And this is where you break through the noise, come through a personalization, making it relevant and really earning the right. So, let me go ahead and just share a few things here real quick. So before we get started here, so let me just pull this up real quick. So, all right, so we got that there. Now let's see here. So, all right, so what happens is, let's bring this down. Here we go. Okay. All right, so normally what happens is you walk into the office, right? Corporate office, you look on the left-hand side, there's accounting. Right on the right hand side is finance. You look behind you, it's engineering. And then across you see it's marketing, right? And then marketing and sales. And that's it. Marketing, sales, sales, marketing. So marketing's job is to bake up the campaign and they throw it out like content and blogs and stuff like that. And they try like generate interest and let everyone know who they are, what they do, and how does it help people with the specific prompts. So they cast that over the, the fence, right? And people who are interested would go ahead and submit information. Uh, and whether it's landing on, whether it's talking to them in person, through emails, some type of touch, or if they land on a white landing page of the website, they would submit their information, right? Hey, my name is Bob. This is uh, Bob at XYZ Company. And this is how, many, how much employees I have. And this is the prompt that I have whatever let's go on. that's just that's just a quick example so so let's just let's, let's just pretend this let's just say we're a company that provides an hr solution okay for to help people recruit better keep their information in and stuff let's just pretend that's our that's what we offer right so marketing here we go so this is marketing right here they will big up a campaign they'll cast it throughout and then there will be all these people that are interested. Okay, this is number one, customer number two, customer number three, customer number four, customer number five comes in. <clears throat> and these are the people who fill out the 
the landing pages and stuff and they're like where right so we have the information here and then people who these leads that get passed down to sales that would be considered what's called a marketing qualified lead so mql marketing qualified lead so that's it marketing reel them in they cast awareness marketing cast awareness they brought these people in these guys are marketing qualified lead now what happens next okay the original way is here comes sales sales like hey they come in they take this lead and it's their job to qualify them showing demos and really making sure it's the right fit and pushing them down the pipeline so what happened is uh the customers are aware if they're interested they go down and then sales take them and then sales would go ahead and push out everyone who's not a right fit but for those who are they'll keep pushing down the pipeline and as you can see here the funnel goes down and down and down because we're pushing out people who doesn't need it people who's not interested people who's not a right fit right and then this is where the sales and they're known as account executives aes or whatever you want to call it, but it's pretty much aes is their job is to nurture the account to provide super tailored demos uh, whether it's complex sale or not and really go hey i understand where you're coming from so this we offer an hr solution however what what does your hr program looks like how many people do you have recruiting what are your problems running into and what you know or the famous question what's keeping you up at night right so that's sales right there pushing you in push down the pipe and go and really qualifying all those accounts and then once they get all the way down these are the people who are ready and said, you know what? Hey, Bob, thanks for reaching out. I can see how this solves our problem. We spoke with our other person from accounting. There's definitely budget for this. We want to implement the solution. Let's move forward. And then they sign, they pay the company up front. So they got the win, ching, ching. Marketing wins too, because they brought them in. And that's, uh, that's marketing and sales, right? Okay, so let's start over. So that is marketing and sales. So now where does this come in so as as i as i told before back in the day only take about three touches for you for them to respond but nowadays take 18 plus right so let's pretend we have this person here her name is sally she's a hr coordinator uh you know in charge of hr whatever and then here's us reaching out to her and here's our phone. This is mess around with it, right? It says an iPhone 11, whatever it is. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so we are sales. Okay, here we go. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so and then we have our sales account executive. So let's put this guy right here with an awesome tie, We're wearing a suit. Here we go. Carrying a bag, like they're known as a uh, suitcase. So this is a suitcase, right? And that's sales. So that's sales on top. So we have sales on top. Here we go. Sales on top. Us on SDR on the bottom. And sell. So remember, it takes about on average now 18 touches to Sally, right? Two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, before we get like an actual response, so to speak, right? So 18 touches. So you imagine the sales executive, right? Account executive. So the AE right here, this guy is taking care of nurturing three different accounts. One, two, three. He's constantly doing demos. He's negotiating for this guy. And he's doing pricing too for this guy as well. And you can imagine how how valuable his time is because these are like super qualified leads, right? This is super qualified leads and they're getting pushed down the pipe to uh, make a purchase and buy from your company. So if it takes on average 18 steps to reach out to Sally, his, his, he's tied up. He can't do it. It's, it. It just can't do it, right? So this is where SDRs and BDRs are born, sales development reps, business development reps, uh, account development rep, whatever you want to call it. So here we come into the game and it's strategic outbound prospecting on a mass scale. So we're reaching out to Sally, right? 
bam, 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 bam. And here's the thing. So imagine there's like 10 more Sally's. So let's say there's 10 more Sally's, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And, you know, that's known as our uh, customer, uh, ideal customer profile. That's who we're reaching out to. And that's who would benefit from our, from our, from our uh, solution. So us as an SDR BDR, we're actually be reaching out to them simultaneously while reaching out to Sally. So you can imagine how much time that takes, right? It's just, it's, it's a full day of prospecting and all you're really doing is strategic outbound prospecting on a mass scale to generate leads. And when you generate leads, um, these aren't just any lead that you would pass on to the account executive. Uh, these are high qualified leads. So that's where the SDRs and BDRs come into play. And I just want to show you something real quick here too. So let's go ahead and start something new, right? So that's what SDRs and BDRs are for. And let me go ahead and take a snapshot of this just to show us over. Okay. So here we go. This is just a brief overview of what it looks like and what we just talked about. So we got the landing page, marketing's on top, the casting's over, we have leads come in and you know, their uh, marketing comes in and then if they decide to take a call with the SDRs, known as an SAL, and then SDRs and BDRs would qualify that inbound lead and go, okay, is this the right fit? Well, and it's really important that you SDRs and BDRs out there have a tight relationship with your AE and know exactly what they're looking for because you don't want to waste your time by giving them shit leads, right? You give them shit leads, it's a fucking waste of time. And it's like, hey man, why are you doing this? Uh, you, you, we should have parameters and it's not cool. It's a waste of time. Um, but so that's inbound. And then here we have the SDRs right here. We also go hunting outside. And once we generate those leads and they take the call with us, known as SAL, then we kick it over to them, then it'll be a sales qualified lead to pass them. So this is where sales development bridges the gap in between marketing and sales because there's the bridge right there, right? Um, there's 18 touches on average, strategic outbound prospecting, and really it's being more efficient, but it's generating more pipeline. So more appointments, more appointments equals more pipeline, bam. Bam, 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 bam. And it's the Cal executives uh, dream to, you know, do nothing but just do demos all day, every day, and just going at it. So that's what it is. So this break, so that's stuff, that's what sales development is. Strategic outbound prospecting on a mass scale. It's an organization that sits in between marketing and sales. And that's pretty much it. That's why it is. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for next time when we go through cadences and sequences. And uh, if there's any feedback, this is the first video of this doing it. Please provide a feedback. Let me know and take it from there. Take care, guys. This is Jackson, host of SDR TV, and have a great night.